Welcome to Lesson 3 in SharpCloud Onboarding. In this lesson, you'll learn how to add supplemental information to your items, gain a more comprehensive look at your data, and make more informed decisions. Like we discussed in Lesson 1, your workspace in SharpCloud, called a story, is made up of two main components, data and views. If we put this into more familiar terms like a spreadsheet, think of an item like the rows. And columns, which provide context to the item, are attributes. For example, let's look at this story's data grid. The data grid can be accessed by clicking on the Story drop down menu, then clicking All Data. Once open, you can clearly see that the attributes appear as spreadsheet columns and the items as spreadsheet rows. You can add new columns, attributes, or relationships within your data grid. When you make changes in the data grid, those changes will be reflected in the views as well. For example, I'll create a new item in the data grid and start filling out some of the attribute information. Then click OK. My new item has appeared automatically in my story. You can also create new attributes in the data grid. Just click the plus icon on your grid, name the attribute, select the attribute type, then click Create. Since I created a list attribute, I can add labels and select colors for those labels. After clicking OK, the new attribute is available to apply to items. But wait! What if I already have my data in a spreadsheet? I can speed up the setup process by importing data into SharpCloud. Simply copy and paste the data into the data grid, or use one of our hundreds of connectors, and new attribute values will be updated. It's important that your spreadsheet is formulated correctly with external IDs, individual rows and columns, and designated names for columns. Otherwise, importing your data won't work. We'll cover more about uploading data in a later lesson. Applying a new attribute can provide you with a brand new perspective on your data. Select an item and use the Edit tab in the right toolbar. I can see my new attribute is listed here. This means that attribute can now be applied to panels, interactive filters, and views. I can also see a data table for each view within my story by clicking the Data View icon on the right side of my screen. Here, I can explore and make changes to data, explore relationships, and export data as a spreadsheet. So now you know how to add and change data in SharpCloud to keep your story up to date and manage your data, creating optimized visuals that help you make more informed decisions. Join us for Lesson 4, where we'll discuss how to utilize categories to add another layer of dimension and organization to your SharpCloud story.